Let's talk about the Navy Federal 91-3 rule. Is it truth or a big ass lie? I mean, the question here is that we really have to dig a little deeper and we want to share with you what we believe. And uh, more importantly, I want to explain to you what you should do instead. So if you want a credit limit increase on your credit card or on your Navy Federal credit card, we believe there are better ways to go about it than trying to follow a so-called 91-3 rule. Don't you go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you were to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka. Now let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about the Navy Federal 91-3 rule. And the question is, is it truth or a lie? Okay. Now, let me just define the rule, the 91-3 rule. This is uh, basically, it says one thing that Navy Federal requires you to wait 91 days or three statements before requesting a credit limit increase. And for some, it's even more than that, okay? Now, the whole thing is some people are claiming that you have to wait 95 days, 100 days, or whatnot. One thing we want to say here is that the Navy Federal 91-3 rule, in our view, is a big-ass lie you must reject. And uh, I'm going to explain to you why, okay? And I'm going to break down for you what you should do instead. First of all, why? Well, there is no written proof about such a rule, okay? And our team members have empirical evidence that we have collected over 30 years that things don't go this way within Navy Fed. I mean, we've been members of uh, Navy Fed for more than 30 years, okay? A lot of folks are just uh, having members for 10 years or five years. They watch a bunch of YouTube videos and, and they start having opinions about what really happens within Navy Fed. We've been part of this institution for 30 years. Okay, and, and when you really think about it, this is kind of similar to the so-called midnight hack. People telling you have to uh, try to game the system, an NFCU system within um, between midnight and 2 a.m. Listen, boss, between midnight and 2 a.m., I want you to really uh, go in your bedroom and just sleep. Okay, there is no breach. Can you really believe that Navy Federal, a multi-billion dollar company, will have a breach in their system that allows people to actually sneak into their system between midnight and 2 that's laughable, okay? The, honestly, this might work for some people, but it doesn't mean that that's the truth. And we, it, it's kind of similar. The 91 through the 91 three rule is kind of similar to the NFCU internal score. People talk about, well, this is a, is a one-time thing. It is not a one-time thing. The internal score at Navy Fed, it is an ongoing thing. Big question for you. Do you really believe that Navy Fed will spend millions of dollars developing a system and only use it once? Come on think about that so when people talk about well you know youtubers have uh, opinions that we never know the truth boss we're not your regular youtubers we have our regular nine to five day jobs okay we do this on the side because we love helping our beloved viewers but we're not youtubers i mean members of our team have more than 30 to 35 years of experience we've been doing things for these things for a long time even before there was something called youtube so it's not about you know drawing views or whatever we just i'm just sharing with you the truth okay we've been members of a usaa pen fed navy fed andrews and service the top five military credit unions and institutions in the united states for more than 30 years so we know what we're talking about so long story short the 91 3 rule is a big ass lie you must reject and uh, i'm going to explain to you what you should do instead Before I talk about the whole uh, alternative thing, let me just share with you the best time to ask for a credit limit increase at Navy Federal. Okay, there are ways that there is a be there are better times that you need to apply. It doesn't matter if it's 90 days or 60 days or or one month or four months or five months. Anytime you have good credit, anytime you have good credit. In other words, once you pass the 750. The 725, 750 mark, you can apply for a credit limit increase, regardless of uh, the last time they raised your they raise your limit. 
Okay, if you are if you are 750 to 800, that's even better. Just give them a call. Explain why you need the, the, the extra limit that will raise you. So you don't have to wait 30 days or, four, or 90 days or three bank statements. No. So anytime you have good credit, this is a great opportunity. If you get a raise at work, okay, if your monetary situation is better, you can uh, ask Navy Fed to give you a raise. They will raise your limits. Not a problem. All you have to do is just to show evidence that you're doing uh, you're doing better now, financially speaking, than before. In other words, you have to show proof of your pay stub. For for instance, let's say you were making five thousand dollars a month before, and uh, this month you are making seven thousand. Well, this is a great opportunity to ask for uh, to ask for a raise. Okay, then you have you want to show them your last pay stub or your W twos and whatnot or your ten ninety nines, whatever can show that you have an improvement in your financial in your monetary situation. That's great. So the whole thing is give them a call or you can even go to a branch. That's even better. Okay, if you are lucky to live uh, in the vicinity of a Navy Fed branch, I want you to go to the branch and bring your pay stub and say, hey, listen. I'm making more money now and I want you all, I want you all to actually update my records to say that I'm making more money and on top of that I would like to take the opportunity to ask for a credit limit increase. That's far better than the 91 the so-called 913 rule. You don't have to wait three statements, you don't have to wait 90 days, okay? And the the the, uh, the third time where it is really great for you to get a raise to ask for a credit limit increase if your spending habits change. Okay, we are talking about major events such as marriage, buying a house, or starting a family. Those could uh, drastically alter your spending habits, right? You may incur more expenses from grocery shopping for your family or purchasing furniture for your home that require an increased credit limit. As long as you can actually articulate your reason to Navy Fed and show them that you show them that you have the financial situation to actually follow through to actually repay whatever you charge on the car on the on the credit card they will actually uh, successfully raise your limits okay so what i'm trying to say here is you don't have to wait for three statements you don't have to wait for 30 days or for 90 days to actually apply for a credit limit increase Now let's talk about the big decision time here. When is the worst time to ask for a credit limit increase? Because I've just showed you the the best time, and I want to talk to you also about the bad, the worst, the worst time. So you have a clear idea of what we're talking about. There is an important dichotomy, an important contradiction, an important separation here. You have to think about. Okay, when you have bad credit, do not ask for a credit limit increase within 30 days. I would say when you have bad credit. Don't don't even ask for uh, don't even follow the 913. I would say follow the the 126. Uh, In other words, you want to wait for six months. You want to wait you want to wait for six bank statements. Okay, not three months. If you have bad credit, you you first need to work on, on the bad credit. You you want to beef it up. You want to bring it to a 650 or 700. Okay, if you are in th it, the thing is it really depends on, on uh, it really depends on how bad your credit is. So okay, are we talking 300? Or 500 okay first of all if you if you are 300 you have a, a lot more concerns to think about than trying to ask for a credit limit increase okay and you want to go you want to be at least at 600 so if you have bad credit do not ask for a credit limit increase after 30 days 60 days 90 days you want to wait for six months at least or six monthly statements six uh, credit card statements now, if your income has decreased, okay, I'm talking about demotion or a job switch or a recent layoff. This is not a right time for you to to ask Navy Fed to raise your limit, okay? Because the whole thing here is you, you need if you are in financial straits, you really want to make sure that you stabilize yourself, okay? You want to have a stronger foundation, a stronger monetary foundation before you ask for a credit limit increase, okay? And the the third thing here is that don't ask for. A, a credit limit increase if your credit utilization ratio is high. If you have maxed out your card, Navy Fed is not going to like it. I mean, they they will be looking at you. Oh, you know, this person is risky. We cannot approve him or her, and all and all that kind of stuff. So you first want to decrease. You want to break down your CUR before asking for a credit limit increase, boss. Okay. And uh, one thing I also want to say is that if you just open a card, let's just say you you got a card from Navy Fed like today okay don't request a credit limit increase right away no like like you know if they give you like uh, five thousand dollars don't ask for ten thousand dollars 
two days from now or three days from now. No, you want to be a little patient. You want to wait a little bit. You want to use the card and actually show a patterns of a financial responsibility, you know, a history of payments before you actually ask for a credit limit increase. Now, let me explain to you here. So instead of the 91.3 rule, we have devised pure logic, a completely different step-by-step -step you need to follow. And boss, there are 10 steps here, and I want you to take notes. I want you to take notes. First of all, you want to maintain a positive banking relationship with NFCU. It doesn't matter whether you're applying for, for a credit limit increase in 90 days or 60 days or 30 days or one year. It doesn't matter. You always want to maintain a positive banking banking relationship with NFCU. Second thing is make sure you have no overdrafts for the last 90 days. Okay, so those are important rules. I'm, I'm just sharing with you a code, and I want you to take notes because uh, as long as you you have you can actually comply with this checklist, this step by step, you are going to get the credit limit increase you need and deserve. So. Number one, maintain a positive banking relationship with NFCU. Number two, make sure you have no overdrafts for the last 90 days. Number three, you want to maintain a positive payment history on the credit card you want to raise the limit on, as well as your NFCU credit cards, other credit cards that you have with NFCU. All right. Number four, you want to maintain a positive history on your, uh, uh, you want to maintain a positive payment history on your other credit cards. Number five, you want to make sure you have at least a 600 credit score and no derogatory items. Number seven, you need to study the requirements of the card you want to raise the limit on. Very important. Number eight, number seven, rather, you want to decide how much credit limit increase you want. Do you want 4,000, 10,000? You need to have a clear idea, boss. I don't want you to, I don't want you to, you know, if they ask you how much, how much you need extra? Well, I'm not really sure. I think uh, five thousand or or ten thousand or or twelve thousand or or one thousand or, or, or blah 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 blah. Be certain, boss. Be certain of the amount you want. Okay. Number eight, you want to gather the paperwork that proves that you are in a better financial situation now than before. And number nine, I want you to call an MCU or go to a branch. And number ten, you want to articulate your request. You need to. You need to explain why you need the credit limit increase, how much you need, and why Navy Fed should grant you the request. So those are 10 elements. If you follow them, regardless of 90 days or three statements or 60 days or 30 days or 120 days, you always get the limit you need and deserve. Believe me, we have been, we have been the members of this uh, institution for 30 years, and we have actually used this step-by-step -step very successfully for clients, for ourselves, and it works all the time. Here is a winner strategy for you. Okay, we want to talk. I want to give you a winner strategy that you need to have. How do you ask for a credit limit increase and actually uh, get uh, the whole thing done uh, automatically? Okay, now one thing you need to understand that at Navy Fed, credit limit increases can happen automatically with no action on your part or by your request. So you have two ways here, okay? An automatic credit limit increase may happen annually or if you're, if uh, Navy Fed uh, notices that you recently updated your income. That's why it's important to always update your income. You know, we've said this on, on other shows. It is important. People ask like, how do I do this? Well, you have two ways, okay? Actually, you have three ways. Number one, you, you can go online, you go into your Navy Fed dashboard, okay, and you go to, to the settings, your private account information, and uh, there is a session called settings, and this is where you have your, your income data. So if there if before you had 40 grand and something, and you know, bless the Lord, you are able to make right now 50, 60 grand, okay, Look, that's great. You go, to, you go online into your account, into the income section, and you actually update the, the income over there now. There are two other ways you can actually give them a call. Some people, some people love just chatting with uh, with the Navy Fed. As a matter of fact, there are four ways that you can do this, the same thing you did online. You can do it on the app. Okay, so that's fine too. Now you can also call Navy Fed. That's the third step here, and just say, "Listen, I, I I'm making more money now. I want you I want you all to to actually uh, update my records." 
And the fourth way is to go to a branch. This is our favorite way, but we understand that people, not a lot of folks live within the vicinity of a Navy Fed branch. I understand that. So, but if you are lucky enough to live there, to live within the, the vicinity of one, just go, just go bring your paperwork and explain to them. Okay. Now, when it comes time to make the credit limit increase, make sure you have the following handy. So annual income, your employment status, your pay stubs, your most recent pay stubs, okay? Your monthly housing payments, rent or mortgage, okay? And in most cases, you can also provide a new suggested credit limits. It's always important to suggest something to Navy Fed. You know why? Because all they can do is just is just deny it. They might say, you know what? You ask for 10 grand, we'll, we'll give you five grand. How about that? Well, how about that? I love it anyway. I ask for 10 grand, but you know, listen, I'll take five grand. Or if I ask for 25 grand, I'll take, I'll take 10 grand anyway. You always need to articulate the amount that you need. And you always uh, need to say why you need the credit limit and how much you need and why Navy Fed should grant you the request. Very important. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. Here is the bonus for you. If you have made it so far, I have a, a special bonus for you. And uh, I want to explain to you how, do, how you get a higher limit on your Navy Fed credit cards. Very important. Because you can ask for 5000 or you can ask for 20000 and be approved. Or you can ask for 1000 But the cool thing here is that if you know how to ask for you always... Okay, here is the deal. Here is the deal. You always ask for a... I would say a very high limit and that, and think about this as if you are negotiating a salary with with uh, a potential recruiter right you always want to start high and then go down okay because the recruiter will come back to you anyway with a lower amount it's the same thing with navy fed okay you want to ask for let's say you want to ask for 20 grand okay and then you because they will they will review your your financial information and say you know what we think 20 grand is too much. We'll give you 5,000. How about that? That's what I said before. It's always good. Okay. You can make your request online with Navy Fed. But if you do that, make sure that you, you update your account. You update your income information in your account. Okay. Or you can call Navy Fed. There is a number on the back of your card. And you can ask a customer service representative whether you are eligible for a higher credit limits. Okay, and remember when you talk with a rep, make sure that you have your paperwork ready in front of you because you know why he or she will ask you the reason for your request as well as whether your income has gone up recently because all Navy Fed cares about and not just the Navy Fed, all financial institutions, they care about the fact that you have to be in a position where you can repay them whatever you charge on the card. They want to make sure that you can repay them. OK, so this is important. And if you are looking for higher limit increases, in some cases, it's just better to uh, to look for automatic re for automatic increases. Yeah. You know, and don't think about the 91 three rule and whatnot. No, you just want to wait for you just want to wait for automatic increases. Something Navy Fed does anyway. As long as you have a positive payment history with them, you you maintain a positive banking relationship, you, you beef up your relationship with them, and you're constantly trying to improve your FICO score. You should get automatic increases every six months or, or every three months, totally possible. Okay, whether or not, again, you followed a 91-3 rule or not. Let me finish today's conversation explaining to you some of the things you have to do before requesting a credit line increase okay this is important because you are basically sitting there and you're thinking okay i don't do a 91.3 okay I, I don't do 91.3 i i don't you know i follow the step by step that I, that he has given me but how do i start the whole process how do i kick off the whole process you need to understand that you need to take care of your faculty score this is the first thing you need to think about you got to think about your FICO score, okay? And uh, your FICO score is very important. This is quite essential. The second thing you need to think about is uh, your CUR, your credit utilization ratio. 
And, and the cool thing here is that your CUR accounts for 30% of your FACO score. So if your FACO score is high anyway, that means that indirectly or directly, your, your CUR is also high. Your credit utilization ratio. Pause. Do you see the correlation here? You got to see the correlation. There is a strong positive correlation between your FACO score and uh, your CUR. Same thing with your DTI. You want to think about your DTI, your debt to income ratio. The whole thing is you want to bring down, you want to reduce systematically and reflexively. You want to reduce your CUR and your DTI, your debt to income ratio and your credit utilization ratio. Those are important elements, boss. Okay. They're really important. And one thing I also want you to do here is that you have to think about also the diversity of your credit, credit mix. You're asking for a credit line increase, but the question is, do you have uh, other products, other financial products, other credit products, for example, a loan or a line of credit or an auto loan or a, a student loan? What kind of loans do you have? Okay. And the question is, th there's another question that we have seen our, our viewers ask is, does requesting a credit limit increase hurt your credit score? It could. If you, uh, if Navy Fed automatically increases your your uh, credit limits, there's no, actually, there's no impact. But if you ask them, they might actually do a hard pull on you, yeah? If they do a hard pull, you might lose five to 10 points, okay? But if you think about it in the long run, you will actually get it back because the higher limit will actually lower your CUR, which which has a positive uh, impact on your FACO score, okay? So there are a lot of benefits of a higher credit limits. I'm not even gonna, I mean, you know, you understand this better than I do that you can do a lot of stuff. You can buy stuff. You can you can actually expand your life. You can improve your life. You can actually change your family's life and, all, and whatnot. But it's also important to understand that you have to pay the money back. You have to think about your credit utilization. You have to think about the fact that you want to keep that amount, that percentage, because it is a percentage. You want to keep it around 30% or 35% maximum very important. Thank you so much for your attention. In today's conversation, I was talking to you about the Navy Federal 91-3 rule. And, and the question was, is it truth or this is a big ass lie? And so I gave you an overview about the rule. I gave you a pro tips, a few pro tips, it's what, how to make the decision, the steps you need to follow, I give you a winner strategy, a bonus, and also the approach you need to follow. Thank you so much for your attention. I appreciate it. I will speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.